Hi, Burkett here with a walkthrough of Chapter 3, Naima Outpost, the fourth level of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. The times for the red brick and mini kits are in the description of this video, so you can skip right to them if you want to. Sinking sand. We'll have to use a speeder to get over it. <laughs> Hold on, somehow. Whoa, hey, stop! New force field, kid. We put it up to keep out the raiders and the riffraff. I'd show you what I mean by riffraff, but I don't have a mirror with me. Oh, and if you think you can get past the force field, <laughs> I'd love to see you try. I'll see if I can pull down the override. I changed my mind! I don't want to see you try! Stop it! Oh, I might have to do a little rebuilding. Thanks. Can you zap that, BB-8? I guess I'll go see if anyone else is hiring. An agile character like Ray can slide underneath these things if you hit the jump button right at the last minute. In free play, we can get the studs times eight red brick with someone like Chewbacca or Bausch who can smash silver Lego objects. Then we have to wait while things happen in the background. And there's the red brick. Now we need someone with a pole or a staff to turn this crossbow. And Bausch can do it or Admiral Akbar in free play. Ray can do it in story mode. Now the other characters can get through. I'll need to get access to the cockpit. 
How did you get access codes for an Imperial ship? <laughs> I like how he answers her. Over that way. Yes, I see them. Now we have a choice between these two builds. You can pick either one. The one on the left gives you a nice big shield. You can shoot everybody out there, but they can't hurt you. The other one kind of just pops these things out of it. For a mini kit, we need to get three of these birds up there. There's one. These are just something to have fun with. There's the second bird. Here's the start of another mini kit. We gotta hit that target. And then if we run on the treadmill, we'll get more studs. <laughs> if we could stay up there. <laughs> Let me get one. <laughs> you see those stormtroopers in the background hopping around? <laughs> Don't fall in. Sinking sand. Yes, I'll find you a way. And that's the third bird. Mini get two.
want us to ride him? Good idea, BB-8. Stay close. <laughs> We can ride either the Lugga Beast or the Pig Monster. I picked the Pig Monster this time. Either one can bust through these cracked Lego walls and smash enemies and other Lego objects around the area. Steady there. Mini Kit 3. We can get the next mini kit in free play with Darth Vader. Mini kit four. <laughs> I love the lounge chairs and the umbrella. <laughs> side of the space pool. We'll have to go through the control tower. Here's another mini kit we can get in free play with the strength handles. Hit the button right when the arrow's in the middle. Mini kit 5. We can go back here to get some more studs. We can grapple this hook to get that blue stud. Or you can just jump up for it. Bausch is acrobatic like Ray. Thank you. 
Watch out for the sniper in the tower. He'll be shooting at us throughout the whole blaster battle. Also, we'll want to get rid of the heavy stormtrooper in the middle first. He'll be gone when we get rid of all the red sections around the heart. Got him. Now we need to blast five stormtroopers. Now we have 12 more. I guess they're in that troop transport. Well, I'm going to skip past some of this stuff. That TIE Fighter just gave BB-8 access to a hatch. Now we need to get the Sniper in the tower, three TIE Fighters, and a Partridge in a Pear Tree. I mean, uh, Troop Transport. <laughs> Ooh, BB-8 needs some more hearts. He needs to beat up some enemies. He can use that huge gun to get that shielded sniper in the tower and the troop transport. But I think that troop transport is in the way, so let's get that first. Now he can get the tower. Yeah, baby. And then he can get the last three TIE Fighters. We've got a chance! Run! What about that ship on our right? That one's garbage! The garbage will do! In free play, before going to the right, let's get a mini kit. Over here on the left is some silver to smash for Chewbacca or Bausch, and a pool for someone like Admiral Akbar or Kit Fisto to dive into. You can get Admiral Akbar in Poe to the Rescue. I have a video for that bonus level. Or you might have Kit Fisto from a free DLC if you pre-ordered the game or bought the deluxe version. I can't remember how I got him. Mini Kit 6. Mini Kit 7.
Now we hit the top button to jump in. And as soon as you start flying, start looking for those arches with the solid center and hit those. Like right here, coming up, the middle. That's the second one. There's another one. There's three or four. There's four or four. This is actually mini kit eight because I had to go back in because I missed it the first time through. The next mini kit is through that hole. And that's actually mini kit nine. Now we want to aim for those, that thing right there, whatever that is. Three of those. They're kind of hard to find. There's one, two of three. And there's one more to the left there. There, 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 yeah. <laughs> Mini kit 10. Now we have to watch out for those TIE fighters behind us trying to kill us and try to go through the circle of studs. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make like a Lego character and smash that like button and subscribe to see when I upload new videos. See you next time.